All right, let's dive right into it because we've got a little bit of Helldivers breaking news concerning daily orders, which have been MIA for a while now. There's also a discussion currently ongoing concerning extractions and modifications that are needed in that area. Malevolent Creek is almost back from the brink, and I have a bit of a Helldivers never quit clip for you to end this one for today, which I know you're going to like. Welcome to the channel. This is Lieutenant Buzz Lightbeer, and we've got a lot to cover today, but I did want to mention that I really do appreciate the amount of love you've been showing my Helldivers uploads. In case you haven't done so already, make sure to hit subscribe and activate those upload notifications so you don't miss a single one of my uploads. And let's get into the latest from Helldivers. First things first, I always try to include chapters so you can bounce around and repeat certain sections and again they are up in place for this one as well so use them if you like. Okay, we've been working on major orders for a while now and that's because the daily orders have been erased from our mission logs and these are usually built on using a specific weapon or stratagem and achieving X amount of kills while using it. I think the last one I can remember was getting a certain amount of kills with the anti-material rifle. Well, we've got some big breaking news on this one as coming to us straight from the Helldivers Discord, posted by Twinbeard, one of the mods over there, that starting at 9 a.m. CET tomorrow, daily orders will be back online, which is overall great news. Now, what seems to be interesting about this is it seems to be rolling out in certain regions of the world already as posts are now popping up on Reddit showing the current personal order titled Pilot Weapons Training requiring a player to kill 100 enemies using the Eagle Strafing Run. Now, I checked my game here on the East Coast US and I can confirm that I do not have this personal order. So maybe it's something to do with time zones, but once they deploy, they should last for 24 hours. Still, it's great to see these things coming back and giving us one more reason, as if we needed more reasons to log in daily and do some hell diving. Next on to this big discussion concerning extraction mechanics and players advocating for changes in this area. Now Game Rant just ran with this headline, Helldivers 2 players want big change to extraction mechanic with a further sub-headline, make it more difficult or easy based on certain conditions. Now this Game Rant article was based on a Reddit post by Eteria. Hopefully I didn't butcher that name with nearly 7,000 upvotes, breaking down the inconsistencies with extractions, pointing out that you can do no base clears to full base clears and get a toss up for extraction intensity. Even stating, quote, from no shows to the whole planet's bile titans and charger rave party being there. Eteria then goes on to discuss their suggestions, and they're not aimed at reducing fun, they just wanted to call out these wild inconsistencies, and that our actions should have tangible and consistent results. So, for example, if we just spent 30 plus minutes roaming the planet for bug holes and secondary targets, we are essentially thinning out the enemy population, and therefore, when we actually call in that extraction, the density of the final encounters should match what we have done prior to reduce enemy strength. Even noting that many enemies seem to have this beam me down Scotty moment where they just materialize onto the extraction pads. Overall, this would be an excellent topic for chat. Where do you land on all of this? I mean, there's quite a bit of logic in what this post brings to light, right? I mean, if we're out there pushing the timers to the very end, mowing through those enemies and destroying their spawn points, you would think that would reduce how many baddies you have to deal with at extraction. Less spawn points should equal less enemies spawning in. But there's also this secondary mechanic in play with Helldivers in that when you're attempting a mission, the longer you spend planet side, the heavier the enemy concentrations become. I guess it just becomes this giant catch-22. You think that taking your time and clearing those bug holes will net you some better results at extraction, but spending more and more time in the mission actually increases the enemy density populations. Again, sound off in the comments section. Leave me some feedback. Is this something that should work in our favor, or is the current method of more time equals more enemies the better path? 
And speaking of working in our favor, Malevolent Creek is nearly back in sight. That's right, Helldivers, aka Space Vietnam, where many a wild battle has taken place. Now, we lost that sector and the creek last week, but the Czar sector is nearly fully back under human control, with only Montez standing in our way, which is right now sitting at 86.95% taken. I know a lot of you are chomping at the bit to get back into the creek and revenge our previous loss. And yeah, it's nearly there, so if you can spare some time away from those terminated missions, drop a few automatons and contribute to Montez to open up the pathway, which by the way, we're still sitting at 37.49% taken on Malevolent Creek, and that will make for some serious Helldivers drama if we can take that one back, especially considering the importance and lore surrounding that planet. Yesterday, I touched on a post concerning Chargers and how this post was stating that they were overtuned, especially considering their threat level. And the issue was their armor levels, which is heavy armor. And of course, the railgun came up throughout that discussion as essentially a standard piece of equipment, although not mandatory, that you need to use in order to deal with them. Well, today, we've got another like-minded post, this time with 2.2 thousand upvotes going on about the auto cannon. And I love how this one is worded as it plays into almost this Helldivers broadcast. Just listen to this. Too much railgun propaganda in this sub. Too many cowards hiding behind shield generators. Yield to the power of the autocannon. And then they go on to talk about all the different stats of the autocannon. Clear fabricators, bug holes, illegal broadcast, spore spewer, and dropship objectives at insane ranges. Three taps and stun lock on any bot devastator variant. Three taps on tanks, turrets, and other heat vent exposed points. Two taps to Hulk faceplates. One taps on scout striders. Rip up the underside of incoming dropships. Two taps on stalkers, stun locks, and high DPS on hive guards, warriors, commanders, and spewers. High DPS on charger and bile titan exposed points. Accurately support swarmed teammates at incredible distances. Reasonable solo reload with half magazine reload capacity. 60 shots per stratagem, 10 in gun, and 10 by 5 round mags in backpack. Embrace the most democratic support weapon stratagem and start auto cannoning today. <laughs> okay. I really like the auto cannon, and I've used it quite a lot, especially because of that rate of fire range and damage output. But for me, you know, it's kind of a toss up. It's either the rail gun or the auto cannon. And let's finish this one up with a clip I actually recorded this morning, which kind of embodies the hell divers can do attitude that you're never truly out of a fight. Anyways. There are two of us on Helldiver difficulty trying to extract, and basically, everything that could go wrong for me does. I killed 30 enemies with that. Well, it looks like democracy and tenacity paid off for me today, and I have no idea in hell how I actually made it out of there alive. Remember to hit subscribe and ring the notifications bell to receive my latest upload alerts. All my socials can be found down in the video description, including Twitter and Discord, where I stay pretty active on both. By the way, you are all invited to join my official Discord server, where we have an awesome upcoming Helldivers community, including channels such as General Tips and Tricks, and of course, our popular LFG channel, where you can find like-minded Helldivers and squad up with them. And of course, we have those 
awesome free Discord voice channels where once you find that squad, you can grab those mics and maximize that carnage. Shout out to the nearly 199,000 of you that have stuck with me and hit subscribe. 200K is right around the corner and I would love to have you along as we hit that milestone. It's free, so hit subscribe. Until the next one, this is Lieutenant Buzz Lightbeer signing off.